It's almost like when a shark's about to attack and they their eyes roll back in yeah. their head. <laughs> Tina's the opposite. Her eyes close, close and then she just gets into the in the groove. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Nine forty-five here. Students are getting involved in STEM with an entire week dedicated to computer science. Yeah, Dan Mitchinson joins us live from Sacramento, checking out all the fun. Hey, uh -huh. Dan. Hey, good morning. Yeah, we're just talking. I've got Jason right here. I've got Jude right here, and I've got the whole class around. By the way, look at this. Who says kids don't dress up? Show them their t show them your tie, Jude. Look at that tie. Let's see. How's that? Oh, nice. for his birthday, Very too. dapper. <laughs> I got the tie just for my birthday. Yeah, you did. Yeah, his birthday's on Christmas. By the way, he wants to oh, everybody fun. to know. So, um, let's <laughs> let's take a look at some of what these kids are doing. These are called Ozobots. And this is the first STEAM elementary school in the Sacramento School District. And we're going to talk with uh, Miss Tam uh, Tamblin right now, who oh, is uh, cool. teaching this class. Boy, it got quiet in here. Is it usually this quiet? It's not usually this quiet. Yeah. We like a lot of talking. <laughs> hey, why don't you tell us a little bit about what they're doing? Because if you if you look at the paper, it looks like they're just drawing lines. But this is actually coding. Yeah, so they are drawing uh, code That's through so color cool. right now. And they're kind of learning the idea that coding happens through sequencing. And then from here, we'll progress eventually to computers where they'll do block code to also program their robots. Now, is coding traditionally, we've heard that, that it's something that, that both boys and girls are interested in, but sometimes girls have a harder time getting into that now. What's the interest been in this class? Um, I think that across the school, um, all of our girls are really interested in coding. They love the Ozobots. It provides a really hands-on experience, and it kind of levels the playing field. Everyone has an opportunity to touch them and to play with them. Yeah, okay. And how long will this go on for? Now, this is a second and third grade class, yeah. and, and this is, like you said, a pilot program. So what happens if this is found to be successful? Well, hopefully we'll be able to continue it. Um, our STEAM coordinator position is funded completely by um, fundraising from parents and the community. So we hope that we'll be able to continue this program um, as long as our fundraising um, continues to be so, so successful. Okay, why don't we run over here because we've got a bunch of people that are doing a bunch of different things. I know we have a good day. We have a good day viewer right here. And what was your name again? Aisha. Aisha. And what are you, why don't you show, what are you, what are you drawing down here? I'm drawing a maze. What do you want to do with this eventually? Do you want to go into coding? Do you want to rule the world? <laughs> I want to go into coding. Yeah. Oh, what do you want it. to build? Uh, a uh, house. A house. Okay. We'll take a house. We'll take a house. We'll take a robot as well. Um, so how do we know if this is proven to be successful at the end of the school year right here? Because we have a we have a very eclectic mix of, of kids from from different neighborhoods right here right. that are some that are very well off and some that are in not so well off in the neighborhood. Well, so we do collect data, so we do also use a program called Code.org, where we're able to see how the kids are growing and progressing in that programming as well. And I think for us, too, um, you know, our goal is to introduce our, our students here at David Lubin to as many STEAM um, different types of activities as we can. And if they have a continued interest, then we'll know that we have found success. All right. Well, we appreciate your time. All right, guys, we got to go. Everybody want to say hi to everybody back a good day and wave and say, see you tomorrow. See you. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, happy holidays, <laughs> and everybody's going to take over the world, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, we See got a lot David of future Lubin. millionaires in here, yeah. too. I look forward to working for you. All right, hey, you said happy, right? happy birthday. These are happy, happy birthday. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah.